Hey guys, so gonna do something a little different today and you might notice that there is something different going on in the background here. I have a poster on the wall behind me. Um, you Even if I move out of the way, there's gonna be a glare from the lights that I used to film with. So I'm gonna pause the video now and just show you a picture of the poster. So I thought that was a very inspirational quote, so I picked this poster up and I have it behind me because what does that mean exactly? Be your own kind of beautiful. Because the world we live in, they, and when I say they, I mean, I guess, the media, sometimes make people feel like they have to look a certain way or maybe use a certain kind of product in order to be beautiful. Well, there are all kinds of beautiful out there. Everyone is beautiful in their own way. And I hate that when I hear people say, oh, if only I had this color hair, I'd, I would feel so much more beautiful. Or if I was, um, let's see, 20 pounds thinner, I would feel so much more beautiful. Or if I was this particular person, I would feel so much more beautiful. Or, you know, there are all kinds of beautiful out there. Be your own kind of beautiful. Wear what you want to wear. Don't feel like you have to wear a certain kind of makeup or brand of makeup or color of makeup or dress a certain way or wear your hair a certain way. I am 55 years old, and you would not believe how many people have said to me, you are too old to wear your hair that long. You should have shorter hair. I live in a community of seniors, and I get a lot of strange looks <laughs> from the ladies in my community because I don't look like them. And I don't know why it bothers them so much but I feel like a lot of times I don't fit in because most of the ladies that live in my community have really short hair. And I don't know why when people get older they feel like they have to cut their hair, but I don't feel like that. I want to be able to wear my hair whatever color I want or any length I want or whatever style I want or dress however I want to dress regardless of my age. Where is it written that you have to be a certain way when you reach a certain age? And I'm just giving you an example of my life, but you can draw this parallel to whatever it is with your life. Um, you should be able to look however you want to look. It's your self. It's your body. Do what makes you happy within reason. You know, we don't want to be breaking any laws or rules or whatever. I mean, I understand that when you work in certain kinds of jobs, you have to dress a certain way. Or if you go to a certain type of school that they may have a dress code. So there are rules that you have to follow. But when you're on your time in your life, you should be able to do what you want, whatever you're comfortable with or what makes you happy. And no one else should be criticizing you for it. Um, I just feel like we live in such a world that is like a cult of celebrity where we're almost made like we have to we're almost made to feel like we have to measure up to a certain standard of beauty or maybe a certain type of beauty is what's in style at the moment and you're supposed to try to make yourself look like them. Well, last time I checked, the average person is not a celebrity and that that's me included. <laughs> I am definitely not a celebrity. I am just somebody that likes to make videos and post them on YouTube and um, for whatever reason, I seem to enjoy doing that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't like it that everyone is forced to feel less than beautiful just because they may not fit into a certain category or, or look a certain way because they're a certain age or a certain 
whatever. Um, we're all beautiful in our own unique individual way. And whatever makes you feel beautiful, go for it. Don't ever let anybody make you feel like you have to be a certain thing or look a certain way because you are whatever. Fill in the blank. Um, it just really bothers me that everyone pigeonholes everybody else. I got a comment on a video the other day. And by the way, when I get negative comments on my videos, you probably won't ever see them because the second somebody leaves a negative comment on one of my videos, I remove the comment and I block that person. Now, somebody might be watching this video saying, oh, but people are entitled to their own opinions. That's true. If you leave a comment that's not mean, then yes, it will be published. Sometimes YouTube puts things in what they call a spam folder, and um, sometimes I don't see them right away. So if you leave a comment and you don't see it right away, chances are that's what happened. YouTube put it in a spam folder. So periodically I will go through the comments in that folder, and if it's not spam, I'll take it out of there and put it back in the comment section on the video where it's supposed to be. And, um, yeah, I, I think their filtering system for that isn't totally accurate because there's been a lot of comments that weren't spam in any way, shape, or form, but they put them in there. But anyways, I'll take it out as soon as I see it and put it in the back in the comment section again. But anyways, um, if somebody leaves a mean-spirited comment on my video, I will delete that comment and I will block that person because I... I'm not going to tolerate that. This is my channel and I will monitor it as I see fit. And there's just no reason in the world why anybody should be just mean for the sake of being mean. And that is my option because this is my channel and that's how I run things. So think twice <laughs> before you leave a mean comment if you want to stay subscribed. Um, somebody left a comment the other day. And they, it was on one of my tutorials, and they said, you're doing this all wrong. You're not using proper techniques, or something to that effect. This is makeup. We can put on makeup, and when I say we, I mean me and all of you. You can wear your makeup however you want to wear it. It's your makeup. Uh, yes, there are techniques. I am not a makeup artist. I am just a regular person. I can apply my makeup however I want to, but so can't makeup artists. When you're a makeup artist, not only do you not have to follow rules, you can create new techniques for makeup. It's whatever you want it to be. There is no right and wrong way of applying makeup. Uh, maybe I put a product on my face in a different order than somebody else, or maybe I apply it a certain way, or... Maybe I use my fingers sometimes instead of brushes. There is no right or wrong way. Apply your makeup however you think it looks beautiful and however makes you happy. Um, so yeah, no, no mean comments allowed here. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, there are all kinds of beautiful and you cannot define beautiful by an age, a color, a size, a shape, um, nothing. You know, beauty comes in all forms, and the message of this video is be your own kind of beautiful. Use your artistry, your freedom of expression to make yourself, your makeup, your clothes, your hair, whatever, your own special kind of beautiful and don't let anyone criticize you or tell you you're wrong because of who you choose to be. That is it for today you guys and I hope you enjoyed my very different kind of video today and I'll see you next time. Bye!